All right, it is time for some random vloggery. I didn't have any Diet Coke, so we got the next best thing, some nice Diet Mountain Dew. Mmm. I haven't... I'm lying to you. They did have, um... I like the canned Diet Coke, like the big dollar canned Diet Coke. They only had the bottle ones, and this was a little cheaper. Because I only had two fifty, and they wanted whatever, whatever. In the end, oh god, I'm having a nice salad, radishes and carrots, and a common dressing. I have some spring cheese over there. I'm talking with my mouth full because. My parents should never do that. And look, nothing's happening. Mm. Sorry. I'd like to, I need to eat though, and I want to do a video, so why not try and have a wedding marriage between the two? Mm. Mm. I'm really excited I started, uh, shut up Lil. I'm really excited that I um, started the Bedroom Guitarist series and all that. Pick up a nice little guitar. Completely distract myself from trying to eat, even though I should be eating. That reminds me all, oh, y'all. I need to take my pill. Pills. Pillios. Pill. That could be another cool word for pill in some other language. Put in the comments below, you know. I have a really cool, you know, iteration. Oh, a translation of pills. Where's my pill box? My lovely pill box. Here this. I got a lot of pills. Deeply disturbed individual. Just cool. Gotta put this away. Gotta back, get back to eating. Anyway, I'm super excited about the Bedroom Guitar series. We're gonna do some bass videos as well. We're looking for covers and blankets. All that. It's all a journey. I'm still trying to figure this all out. I have a very, very limited amount of space. I'm not talking about time. I'm just talking about I work out of my room, and I'm trying the best to make do with that. Mmm. That felt good. That was beautiful. I should slow mo that. That was just like. Like this lettuce is like a wildebeest, I'm just like a lion attack. Oh. Mm. Mm. So, anyway, I did a video with the PV. I did a 16th note practice lesson. Mm. Right. I have some more ideas. going on in Castle Creep Cobb. Um, on and off the bat, a lot, keep getting interrupted. 
to do on stupid life things, but about halfway through, enjoying this game a lot. Can't wait for uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. Three. She. No, Son. Not Son, yeah. Ah! Oh. Um. Cheese. Mm, sick ass posters. It's cool because like this side is all postered up. And then this is blank. This is just like one Robert De Niro poster. I don't know why. I think my original intention was I mean, you'll you'll see it in the PV video too. Um uh, actually no, I'm sorry, you won't. Because I didn't end up using that. Or did I? I don't even remember now. I did it yesterday. Anyway, whenever I'm doing a shot, camera, the camera's here, you know, and I'm here. I just like the idea that, like, Robert De Niro's pointing a gun at my head. That's always cool. And I also have that one right there. So if I use the shot from here, it's like Robert De Niro's pointing a gun at my head. And. You know, I'm, I'm cool with the idea of Robert De Niro pointing a gun at my head. Like if anyone would just fucking shoot my head, I'd be honored if it would be Robert De Niro. That'd be fucking sick as shit. I still have to go see the Joker movie. I don't really watch movies anymore, though. I kind of fucking hate movies. I saw this movie called Midsummer. Uh, that was it. Ari Aster single-handedly killed movies for me. Ari Aster and George B. Mainly Ari Aster, though. Mainly Ari Aster. That was just... I, I was done with movies after that. Never wanted to watch another movie. Now the only time I go to movies is my just my grandma. Mm. When I take my grandmama to the movies. That the only time. So she dictates what we see. We both want to go see Adam Family though. That'd be fucking sick. But mainly, I don't go to the movies. A lot of people that know me are like, ha ha ha, shut up. That doesn't count. In real life, I'm all oh, you're all fucking seeing me in real life. You're hearing me in real life. It's horribly depressed and stuff in my face with salad. A single bowl. I can stuff my face with a small amount. I just don't do it with massive quantities. I just don't stuff my face, don't you don't see me stuff my face and past half long is going on. Anyway. Sorry about some other cool shit going on right now. With my nefarious pal working at the Lonely Mountain. Mmm. 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 Yeah, that's good. This video not brought to you by Mountain Dew. However, I do personally endure. Endure. <laughs> I personally endorse Diet Mountain Dew. I am not endorsed by or affiliated with Pepsi Cola or any of its products. But I do personally Diet Mountain Dew. Let's do some other endorsements. I am not affiliated with the Dario, and then you know what? That's actually not. That would be lying because I sort of am affiliated. I'm not an artist. I don't have the Dario, you know, endorsement or whatnot. They are my favorite strings. I have. These bad boys right here for uh, the acoustic. You know this? I want you to see this right there. This is almost, almost the same gauges that I have for Sally. You haven't seen Sally yet. You've only seen Isis. But 
I got the Dario's um, Phosphor Bronze for whatever the acoustic, I don't have a name for that. Isis has got the new ones, the new Daddario. Oh my god! I'm looking like a dork in front of Daddario. The new nickel plated ones. That's on um, Sally and uh, Isis. Sally's got NYXLs, and then B has got NYXLs, and we've just been using Daddario forever. Daddario is the greatest string manufacturer on the planet, galaxy, universe, possibly the multiverse. Daddario is amazing. Thank you so much, Dario. And if you go to Dario, you can join, sign up for their player circle, and you can enter codes. Don't try entering this because one, you can't really read it, and two, I already entered it. Register, get points, merch, all that. Again, this was not sponsored by or endorsed by Dario, but I'm just personally saying, out of all the products that I have tried, I've tried Dario. I've seen the light. Uh, uh, did I say Adario? I've tried the Dario. I've seen the light. Go for it. Try them out. <sighs> what else? What else? What else am I endorsing? <sighs> ah, you know what? Use guitars. That's what I'm going to endorse. This is Isis right here. Isis BC Rich Platinum Series. I really don't know. I have the serial number, but I really do not know what year this is anything like that but this is isis and i've used isis for almost a year now i've almost had her for a year and it's actually a really cool story about god isis um link leave a link down below if you want to know the name so uh, you want to know the history of how she got named isis because it's a it's, it's sort of a Long, stupid, fun, cool, kooky story. Uh, it helped my head. <laughs> That'd be nice. So anyway, I got Isis a year ago at the Guitar Center. The good Guitar Center. See, I have three Guitar Centers. Uh, I'm taking that back. I got it at the Great Guitar Center. See, there's the Great Guitar Center, there's the Good Guitar Center, and then there's the Shit Guitar Center. I got a lot of Guitar Centers, because I love guitars. I got a lot of guitar stores, because I love Drums. I go go to a lot of pawn shops because I love bass. No. Anyway, what's the great guitar center? I see this little bad boy, girl, whatever you want to call her. I play it. I plug it into you know the quickest thing that I could get, like you know the high gain or whatever, without actually having to work. So I think it was on a PV, PV Viper Two or whatever. I plug it in and just start wailing away. I'm just like, wow, this guitar plays really great. And I see the price tag is 150 bucks for this. Are you kidding me? For this bad boy right here? Now, I've owned a lot of stuff. Believe it or not, this was not the first BC Rich thing I've owned. Oh, God, that's another story. God, I should buy that. So, in 2015... Oh. 2011, I got a BC Rich Ironbird, you know, with the, the, you know, the, the 399 or 299 one with the Rockville pickups, the Floyd Rose, and they have the red outline. Anyway, I traded in 2015 to Guitar Center, the bad Guitar Center, and I was in the bad Guitar Center the other day, and there it was, for like 250 bucks. I was like, F me. And then, of course, right next to it was like a, like a Kramer Beretta. Or a Hamer Beretta, or Kramer, one of the two. So, I'm torn. Should I get it back? I don't know. The first BC Rich product I ever owned was like a BC Rich Warlock face in 2009. I'm mainly... I don't even want to get into that. But what do you guys think? about that. I just prefer the term composer who can play guitar, composer who can play bass. Because I love both instruments equally, and they're both different. I fucking hate the shit that people are like, they're not. I mean, I mean one's better than the other. No! Why can't they be different? Why do, why do they even have to equal each other? Or why, why, why do we have to say, oh, you know, you can do stuff on bass that you can't do on guitar, you can do stuff on guitar, you can't, why, like, why is that? Like, Oh, the thing that annoys me the most, it really does. It really annoys me. 
is when people try and be all oh, like do guitar stuff on bass, I'm like, stop trying so hard. Legit, why don't you do what bass was meant to do? It's like hold down the rhythm and be the harmonic foundation of the band. That's what's awesome. Another thing, another thing that I really don't like. I'm getting all mad and passionate right now. I'm going to start talking with my hands. Be Italian. Um, when you have a band, say you have a metal band, right? And you're, you're, here's your guitar riff. Right? Okay, cool guitar. Right? And then it's like, okay, it's a bass player. So I went to the bass player. Okay, hmm. Maybe I'd be, be like my nefarious friend who would just go, hmm. And then just go, how about this? It's like, that's so boring. Why don't you just do like a quarter note thing? And then the add effects. <laughs> do something with the drums. I hate it when they just double guitar. It's like, you don't, bass does not need to be, you don't have to double the guitar because you're already doubling the guitar track. God, I found whatever. So, you know what? I'm going to end this video. I'm definitely going to post it today. I have other things to do, unfortunately. But I will see you tomorrow. I don't know if tomorrow... I don't know what spontaneity will bring. I don't know if tomorrow will be another bedroom guitarist video. Maybe a bedroom bassist video. Or another vlog. But all I can tell you is, is I'm just going to keep making these. Because it's...